If you want to change certain settings inside of Audacity, then you can work around with preferences uh, in the application. So to do that, you can go around into edit and over here you can see that preferences is an option. So once you access preferences, what happens is that you get um, access to different uh, software properties right here. So you can work around with devices. So you can go, work around, select out the playback devices right here. There's recording options right here where you can set the default recording values and then enable and disable different options right here. You can also work around with MIDI devices. You can set around default quality right here and even work around with um, interfaces like themes right here. Let me just press OK because I just chose dark theme. And now you can see that the application is turned to a darker version of itself right here. So I'm just going to go around onto interface and I'm going to go around with light right here. So this is what I want. You can also go around and then choose other uh, thing like you can go around with classic right here. So you got more of a classic look right here as well. So similarly, you can go around, change out different things. So over here, you can also work around with tracks. You can see that there's a default view mode. You can enable spectrogram or multi-view in the um, default view mode over here as well. So there is extended um, um, import, and, uh, import and export regions right here. And we can work around with different things right here. You can also set the directories to, a default, to, a, to have default, a default open uh, folders and default export folders and so forth. Similarly, there's warnings, um, warning messages that you can display as well. There's effects that you can enable and disable right here. There's keyboard shortcuts that you can uh, work around with as well. So you can uh, add in assets for custom keyboards or set custom keyboards from over here. You can set the mouse settings from over here as well. And you can work around with modules right here. And then the application, you can check for updates and update everything out there. So from the preferences, you can go around and see um, what changes you can do. So you can try uh, everything out and then see what works best for you. But those are the options that are there in the preferences over there for you to uh, change things out. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.